So you literally cannot make this kind of stuff up. There's this guy that got arrested and he's sentenced to four months in prison for having in his possession a six inch master sword. I'm not even kidding you. I, w I, I wasn't even sure if we should make this video because it's very weird, but it's Nintendo related. So why not guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. This one is really out there, um, but I thought it was, um, it was interesting to talk about, so I wanted to make a video on it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, it also made me think of the new Master Sword that they just released or are releasing uh, as well, but I don't think that is that one. This is a different one. Um, let me just put it up on screen. This is actually coming uh, directly from, uh, from from the police report. This is from the, the police web website. I'll link it down in the description below if you, if you want to see it. It's, it's uh, I don't even know how to pronounce it, Warwickshire. It's in the UK. Uh, the United Kingdom, and, and this is what it reads. So it says, this guy, Anthony Bray, who's 48, uh, he's been sentenced to four months in prison after he was found in possession of a bladed article in public, they said. The article in question was a small <laughs> replica uh, of the Master Sword from the Legend of Zelda games, which has uh, had a, a total blade length of six inches. Uh, it's not even a, a big sword either. I mean, that's, that's pretty small. It's kind of like... Um, I mean, I mean, that's, that's tiny. That's, a, that's like a mini version, miniature uh, version, if you will. Anyways, the blade was inside a sheath and could be uh, released from the sheath with the press of a button. On June 8th, 2024, this is almost a month ago, the time, or, yeah, a month ago, time of recording this, uh, officers were made aware through CCTV operators of a man, Anthony Bray, uh, walking down Queens Road and whatever with something in his hand. Uh, it goes on basically to say that, you know, uh, they, uh, the officers approached him with the item in his hand visible, in which uh, point he was arrested um, as he was carrying a bladed article. Uh, he claimed that the sword was a uh, quote-unquote fidget, something to keep his hands busy. Uh, he had bought it online as a fidget toy. Uh, the officers tried to explain to the guy that despite its intended purpose, it was in fact a sharply pointed weapon that could still be used as a weapon. Uh, sorry, uh, sharply pointed item that could be used as a weapon and might put others in fear of it being used against them. Um, all that to say, he was, you know, opening, uh, carrying it openly, they say, uh, despite admitting that it could be perceived as threatening. If someone else saw it, he insisted during his interview that uh, he would not have used it as a weapon and this and that. So all that to say, he ended up getting four months in prison for this. Uh, he's also re required to pay a victim surcharge of 154, what is that, pounds or euros? I'm not sure. Uh, all about, you know, the, the symbol um, of the currency in the UK, personally. Uh, all that to say, the officer said, we take uh, zero tolerance to bladed articles uh, in public. And he has fallen afoul of this. Bray, the guy Bray. Um, it is possible to find fidget toys that aren't six inch blades and not to walk down the street holding them. Uh, anyways, they said with a bit more self-awareness, he could have avoided this completely. So it's kind of interesting, especially if you look at the, um, if you look at, if you actually look at the master sword, if you look at the, the image, um, it's, yeah, it's pointed, but it also looks a little bit dull. Um, it looks, it, it doesn't look like it's super sharp. Uh, by any means, um, you know, does it, 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 I don't, I guess it's, I guess it must be metal. It must be actually made of steel. Um, but still, even then it doesn't look like you're going to cut much with it, especially not on the, on the edges. The edges don't look very sharp again. I mean, I can't, you know, very, I can't see it. I'm not holding it, but, um, they don't look very sharp. It looks pretty dull for the most part. Uh, I don't know. And it's only six inches. It's not like it was like a full, you know, length sword. Uh, that would have been more understandable. But at this size, I, I'm a little bit surprised that um, not only, I mean, you know, this could have been something that they would have just maybe confiscated, uh, con con confiscated, excuse me. Um, but no, he gets four months in prison as, as well. And I, I don't know the rules, you know, the laws in the UK. I live in Canada. It's pretty strict here too. But even then, um, a little six inch blade like that doesn't seem too crazy to be honest with you so I'm, I'm a little bit surprised but nonetheless if you're carrying around uh, a replica of a master sword make sure you know the laws of your of your uh of your region and um if anything make sure it's not you know steel it's it's plastic and even if it's plastic who knows maybe maybe with this crazy world you'll still get arrested i don't know all that to say uh if you're cosplaying you know link be careful out there Okay, make sure you get, maybe you got to get a styrofoam master sword. 
Maybe even then you'll still get arrested. Who knows? It's crazy out there. Anyways, what a weird story. Wanted to share with you guys because it was weird and it's technically Nintendo related. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe for more, and uh, see you guys soon. Another one. Till then, game on.